Good day. Today I um, have been approached to please try and cover CRS 3711 um, and I'm going to um, show you how to install QT 6.4.3 on a Windows 11 um, with, uh, with having CMake enabled. Okay and so um, yeah without further ado let's go and have a look. So first of all, we need to go to our website, which is https colon forward slash forward slash www.qt.io. Okay. Then what we do is we scroll down to the bottom um, and you'll see there is not much about open source, but uh, I found it under licensing over here. I'm going to click on open source. Okay then brings us to this uh, licensing um, screen I click on commercial and open source licenses okay and now it brings us to a download screen but the problem with this download is that this download is a free trial and it states here it's for free trials so what I do is I uh, click on this go to open source I then scroll down here and you can see over here we've got download online installer okay and if we try and expand this um, we can we'll see we get taken to a different screen and what's nice is here we can choose whether we got a Mac a Windows or a Linux system I've got a Windows system and what's also nice is it gives you two options. You can either choose the online installer for Windows or the offline package. So if I right click on the offline package, um, it'll bring me to here. And you can see you can download a single zip file, which is 1.2 gigabytes. Or you can download the Linux and Mac one for 760 megabytes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead with the online installer and I'm going to click the... Uh, QT online installer for Windows as you can see it's uh, downloaded it um, this year Unisa seems to have changed to CMake so what I've done is I've gone to um, my favorite chat GPT and I've asked them here I've said in QT what is the difference from QMake versus CMake and so I'm just going to read out what it says here in the QT framework, QMake and CMake are both build systems used for managing the compilation and linking of projects. While they serve similar purposes, there are differences in their features and usage. QMake. QMake is the default build system provided by QT. It uses .pro files, project files, to define the project structure, dependencies and build instructions. Here are some key points about QMake. Syntax is QMake, uses its own domain specific language, DSL, for project configuration. The .pro file, um, files contain a set of instructions written in this DSL. QT integration. QMake is tightly integrated with QT. It automatically handles the compilation of QT specific resources such as the UR files uh, which uh, have a .ur file extension and the resources files which have the .qrc and ensures proper inclusion of the necessary QT modules. Simplicity. QMake is often considered simpler and easier to use for basic projects. It automatically generates platform specific make files or project files for other build systems, e.g. Visual Studio project files for Windows. Limited extensibility. QMake has limited extensibility compared to CMake. It lacks advanced features such as conditionals, loops, and functions. Okay, now we go on to CMake. CMake, CMake is a more versatile and widely used build system, not specific to QT. It uses cmakelists.txt files to define the project structure and build instructions. Here are some key points about CMake. Syntax. 
CMake uses a scripting language that resembles standard C syntax. The CMake lists.txt files contain commands and variables used to configure the project. Platform independence. CMake generates build files for various platforms and build systems, including make files, Visual Studio projects, and Xcode projects. This allows developers to work across different platforms without needing to write platform specific build scripts manually. Extensibility CMake provides more advanced features such as conditionals, loops, functions, and macros, allowing for greater flexibility and customization. Widely adopted. CMake is widely adopted in the industry and supports many non-QT projects. It is often used in conjunction with QT when developing cross-platform applications. In summary, QMake is a default build system provided by QT and offers simplicity and tight integration with QT, while CMake is a more versatile and extensible build system that is not limited to QT projects and provides greater platform independence. The choice between QMake and CMake depends on your project's requirements, complexity and the desired level of flexibility. Okay, so now that we've finished understanding the difference, let's go ahead and check our downloads. And we want to open this file. And it will, it's already got my login credentials saved. But if you don't have an account, you need to just click the sign up option. Sign up for a quick account. I think it's just an email and a password. And then you can proceed. But I've already got an email and a password. So I'm just going to click on next. Okay. Yeah, uh, I noticed before you could just select this. Uh, top line and not use the bottom one but now it won't let you choose next if you don't select the bottom so you need to just uh, agree to the terms okay the next thing is um, welcome to this QT setup um, and so we just click on next then it will have a look um, generally you can decide if you want to help them improve by sending them information I don't like to send my information so I've just said disable sending click on next I'm happy to leave it in the CQT folder I'm going to choose the custom installation okay and associate common files I'm happy with it to do that click on next okay so your screen might load with different options um, okay but these are the options that I'm seeing on my side I'm going to take off the design studio because I don't want it okay and I'm going to go to the development tools and that's the only uh, thing that I want so I want the QT creator program I want the debugger support and I want the debugging tools for Windows and you can see it automatically defaults to the CMake and it also wants to include Ninja so I'm going to take off Ninja all right and um, yeah you can leave it like that uh, I'm gonna I'm going to leave it like that those are the tools that I feel I need for this module because um, they want us to use the CMake framework click on next okay read through the license agreement and just say I have read through it click on next it then comes up and asks do you want to create a QT program and I'm gonna say yes I'm happy to actually just create QT6 okay click on next and then I'm going to click on install so this is going to download as you can see quite a small uh, range of files not too big and yeah we'll, I will pause the video until it's finished downloading and uh, I'll continue when it's when it's finished downloaded and show you the, inst the rest of the installation. And there we go. It starts to unpack the packages that it's downloaded. 
and then um, once it's unpacked it, it should start installing and it'll give us the option of being in a restart state or as you can see here it's asking me to launch Qt Creator I'm going to launch it click on finish okay and this is the screen I'm used to so if we go to create project there we go we got our application Qt so we can either create a console application or a widget application I believe the first assignment is a console one so I'm just going to click on choose um, I've created a folder uh, on my C drive UNISA and CIS 3.7.11 okay and in there here I'm going to call it assignment 2 question 1 okay and then I just open that say select folder choose what I want um, assignment 2 question 1 click on next my build system you can see I'm going to choose CMake click next next I don't want any kits no suitable kit okay got to add kits okay so maybe what you got to do is add a QMake I haven't seen this uh, kits fly. Okay, no kits. Okay, so maybe we have to add the QMake um, onto it. So I'm going to cancel this and go out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to go to my Qt folder. have a look here there's a tool called a maintenance tool so I'm going to run that I'm going to click on next I'm going to say add or remove components click on next okay and then under the QT I'm going to go back to development tools and I'm going to tell it I want it to install MinGW click on next go update and that one's only 96 megabytes As you can see it's unpacking the components there we go we click on finish okay I can close that down and let's try again okay I returned um, tried to open a project and I saw that it wasn't working so I'm gonna go back to my maintenance tool okay I'm gonna go sign in okay I'm gonna go add or remove components all right and then under the QT option here, QT 6.4.3, I'm going to choose this and I'm going to say MinGW. So this is where I'm adding the 6.431. Okay, I'm clicking next and I'm saying update. And that is going to update another 212 megabytes. Okay. Okay, it's extracting it and then it's starting to unpack the components. Installing them. Let's click on finish. Okay, and as mentioned, now I'm going to try and go to the um, QT designer. Let me just uh, see. Okay, now we finally have what we're looking for. Click on create project, choose the application QT. I'm choosing a console application. I click on choose. 
um, I'm going to put it under my assignment 2 question 1 assignment 2 question 1 click on next happy to make it a CMake project click on next language I'm going to leave now this was the part that we didn't have before so this is uh, by adding that last option I've chosen desktop QT and I can just click on next and we click on finish and now our code basically starts and now we have our files all right and so if we want to we can just click on our run and then it will run it and debug it um, yeah and and there it comes okay and then once you finish you can just close it and it's done so thank you for watching this video i hope that it's been helpful it's definitely been a lot of learning um yeah once again thank you for watching and all the best with cis 3711 thanks and goodbye